Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games of Dialogue, and welcome back to Heroes of Hammerwatch. Some of you may remember that I was playing this way back in, well, like two or three years ago, when I started my RPG Maker series. Since then, they've come out with some DLC. Uh, today's DLC that we'll be playing, Moon Temple. I also bought the Witch Hunter DLC, which had a new character, as well as some minor upgrades and bells and whistles. Uh, the Pyramid of Prophecy DLC added an area and a character class. I will go through that later, but for today and the foreseeable future, we're going to be running through the new Moon Temple expansion. Uh, so we'll open up our old save. Scroll through here real quick. All my old characters that I haven't touched in a while. Let's go... Let's go with Bort the Ranger. Nope, 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 nope. Well, yeah, alright, let's look at the new characters. So, Gladiator I don't really have at the moment. Witch Hunter. I I want to make a Witch Hunter and play through it, but I want to see if the new content is level scaled to the characters I have, or if you need to have finished the base game first. And then down here we have Mercenary. You have to reach level 20 before you can do this. I obviously don't have a level 20 character, you just saw me scroll through it. Best I can do is level 11 with the Paladin. Mercenary mode is a challenging permadeath mode with a unique set of rules. Reaching level 20 with a class unlocks the option to create one. Mercenaries are warriors already trained for battle starting at level 20 with a lot of gold to spend. When a mercenary dies, they stay dead. Upon death... Come on, scroll down. Upon death... You are ordered with a number of legacy points based on the progress of that mercenary. These points can be spent on unlocking various cosmetic effects usable by all heroes. So, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, although dead, your previous mercenaries will not be forgotten and their progress are detailed. Wait. Yeah, is detailed in this company ledger. Your ten most prestigious mercenaries will also receive their own tombstones outside of camp. Oh, no. I'm going to create a graveyard of mercenaries. Mercenaries don't learn skills in the same way as non-mercenaries. Instead, uh, they can equip skills from all other unlocked mercenary classes. Skills can be freely swapped. Oh, so I'm assuming that means I can take the best or my favorite skills from the other classes and put them on a mercenary. Your mercenaries will gain prestige by adventuring beating bosses, and completing campaigns. Prestige will, in turn, determine the rank of your mercenary. So that's something I want to aim for, is making a mercenary and seeing how I do there. But for now, let's go with Bort and see if we can play the new content, what, it, what it's like. We also have the town. We have a mini-map in the upper left, or upper right, if you can see that. Uh, most everything's the same here. We have a few... Oh, hello. I left my big book of mist monsters in the tower archives. It contains very valuable information. So if I could find the book, I could give it to him. We have... Yeah, this is all... Man, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me now. Companions? Oh, that's... Oh, ho, 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 ho. And they cost money. It requires DLC. Well, I have it, so that's good. Oh, man, I do not have the money for that, though. I mean, I'm still spending money on upgrading the town and my characters. But that's good to know. What else do we got over here? Alright. I forget what this is. Oh, right. Supplies. Little things for running. Okay. What are you? Oh, right. Upgrading the potion shop. I remember. I remember. What else do we got? This over here is for the DLC I don't have at the moment. Pyramid of Prophecy. Right. Right. So that'll have to come later. We got the... We got the temple. Right. We have the guild hall. Right. That's where I upgrade my characters. We have the witch over here, which does something? I don't remember what I pay her for. 
Magic shop. Oh, upgrading my... Right. Right. I remember. I remember. Okay, and... Path of Sorrow. This path takes you all the way up to the Brightmoor... Okay, Moon Temple. Good. So this is what we want to check out this episode. The Moon Temple, north of the Outlook. When Thunder Snow arrived and landed on the top of Shaft Lock Tower, his ice rain began to wear away at the gates of the Moon Temple, causing them to crumble and break down. This led to not only creatures escaping, but also allowed some foul battle mages sent by Blight the Horrible to sneak in. Blight can't be allowed to get his grimy hands on the orb, so these agents must be stopped at all costs. Mercenaries with experience from other regions were called in to assist. They knew that in the end, when the land is set free, they would be rewarded handsomely. Alright, let's uh, see what's what. Legacy shop. Oh, okay, so this is where this is going to go. Frames? Oh, I have no legacy coin. Oh, but that's interesting. Alright, what about dies? So I can purchase new dies for the characters? Or die the characters I have? Uh, either way. Trails? I leave this behind when I walk, okay? Companions? Oh, so I can change the look of the companions I can get. Alright. Combos. I, I'm assuming when I use skills, that pops up. And then gravestones. Oh, that's terrible. At least I can customize my gravestones, but that's kind of gruesome. Alright. What's this over here? Not only did Blight Agents sneak in, someone saw... Wait, why are we starting at 2? This was some time ago, but that person did not... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This ice came down from the top of Shaflock Tower, crushing... Oh, crushed the Sun Gates... And opened up. I didn't read it fast enough. Not only the blood agent sneak in, someone saw Krillet, blah blah blah. Bring with him, blah blah blah. Alright. Okay, good. So he just says the same three things. Blight the Horrible must get his hands on the Orb of Night. That's very important. He said some agents just after the Sun Gates were destroyed. Our mission here is to stop them from stealing the Orb, because if the Orb is moved out of the temple, it will corrupt us all and make Blight even stronger. That's not good. We don't want that. Mercenary camp. I train our mercenaries so they can be prepared for the challenge they are about to meet in the Moon Temple. Good, good. Thank you for doing that. I give mercenaries that extra boost if they are willing to invest some of their resources. That's good to know, too. Okay. For us mercenaries, it's an honor to serve next to you. Many have fallen, but we will continue to fight. Well, nobody's fallen quite yet. Don't get ahead of yourself. Somebody named A Nobody apparently didn't make it very far. Danielle Skinner doesn't want to be here. She was more or less forced into this mission because of some favors she had to repair, repay, and she dragged every one of us with her. She didn't like me confronting her about it, so she sent me to stand by this grave. Your future is in front of you, she said. I would never tell a mercenary this, so please don't rat me out. Okay, sure. Well, let's get in there. Oh, well. I was sent all the way from the Sun Temple. Don't know why. Can't rebuild the Sun Gates myself. And it's very cold here. Yep. You enter, there's no turning back. Well, thank you for the warning. I know how this works. Okay, let's see how strong everything is and how... Whether or not I can actually survive here. Wait, I can use this. Why, why is it not activating? All right, whatever. Man, it's time to shake off the cobwebs. I haven't touched this game in forever. Oh, one way. Oh, great. All right, well, I'm killing things rather... rather well. I mean, I'm not... It's not... It's no worse than the levels I was at previously. Oh, except that I'm gonna die. What was my potion? Ah. Space. Okay, so I just have to avoid the guys who can shoot me. Oh, and I died because I'm a dummy. 
Vampire Magi, you travel blah blah, you used all your potions, taking no gold home, you died within the first minute. Yep. Let's try that again. That was terrible. That was awful. We'll do we'll do one more to retry here. Because I'm just shaking off the cobwebs. And then we'll make a witch hunter and see how that goes. Okay, this isn't bad. Uh Okay. Can I step on these spikes? Nope. They are... Roadblocks. Okay. And I have no key. Because... Oh, no. Alright, well, that takes me back. Okay, that's what that does. Good to know. Oh, God. Hey! Guys! Guys! This is un... No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, I got another achievement. Great. All right, let's kill the vampire then. All right. So these people are bad people then. Not just like mercenaries or uh, soldiers. They're actual vampires, which, you know, that's not a good thing. Okay, so this is money. I don't know what these are. Oh, mana. Right, right. That's... It's going to take some getting used to. That's not money. I mean, it's not coin. It's not gold colored. Tome of Magic Missile. 10 skill power. Magic Missile deals blah, blah, blah. Well, not blah, blah, blah. 25 magic damage has a cooldown. Okay. I don't remember how to use any of this. You know what? I need to look at the controls because I don't remember how to use any of this stuff. Active skills. Okay. Left and right. I don't have skill 3 or 4, but that's Q and E. Use R. That's how I've been talking to people. Potion is space. Player menu C. Guildhall G. Okay. Alright. So, I'm assuming if I want to use that magic missile, I'm going to need to push R. And I could go through here. Wow. I hope... I hope that's not everything gets harder. Would you like to send down one or... Oh, okay. So that is the... What is that thing? Uh, the dumbwaiter. The elevator. The mine shaft thing from the old game. That's how I send stuff back to town. Alright, come on, come on, come on! Die! 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 Vampire! Okay, good. That recover- oh no, that's ore. Well, I have three ore, I should probably send it back to town, right? Every little bit counts. If I recall, it also gets more expensive to send things down. There's a tax involved, so I might not want to visit the the dumbwaiter, the mine shaft, the thing that sends it back until I have enough money that I'm ready to do that. I have one more potion. So if I think I'm going to die, I will return and do that. But for now, it's fine. Okay, I need to kill these guys who are shooting at me. Come on. Come on. All right, well, I gotta use the potion, so that's a shame. Come on. There we go, another ore. And he's dead. Perfect. All right. Maybe I should... Or, or, yeah, you know, I'm gonna send the money back. I'm, I'm a poor dude anyways. So let's just send this back and then... We'll probably dot wind up dying here. Ah, 5% tax. I have that... I have gotten it down from what it used to be, but you have to pay to reduce the tax. So, you know, it's kind of a... Kind of a uh, give and take. 
Do you want to spend your hard-earned cash to prevent you from having to spend your hard-earned cash in the future? Or just trust that you're a good enough player that you won't have to waste taxes? Me, personally, I'm not a good enough player. I have to spend the money on taxes. So, it makes a more sense for me to get rid of... Uh, to lower the tax, rather than just ignore it. Oh, come on. I hate how they can teleport. I shoot them enough and they just disappear. I mean... They're probably designed to be that frustrating, right? It's not like... They're cheating. That's uh, something I have to figure out how to overcome. But still, it's an annoyance. That they can do that. Especially since they can just teleport right next to me. How is that fair? How is that fair? I can't kite things when they can teleport right next to me. Alright, well, I'm probably gonna die. I only have 14 hit points. So unless I get some food somewhere. Or some health regen or something. I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna choke. All right, here we go. 19 hit points. Come on, come on. Ugh, come on. I can't escape. I don't know why I'm backing up. Come on, die. There we go. Oh, good, good. 26 hit points. Am I stealing health? Do I have that, uh... Oh no, what? What is this? What is this? And there I go. Bye-bye. Oh, Alright, return to menu. That was a good first attempt, I think. Sure. Let's uh, make a new character and see what he's capable of. So... I actually like <laughs> I actually like that. Wait for my signal to attack. Monk, I need a monk. I'll take that one, sure. Uh let's see. What do we want to call you? Dandavid? Perg. Donda. I'm not liking any of these. What's a good What's a good witch hunter name? Uh I think that'll I think that'll be fine. And skin color. Uh let's go. There's not really a whole big difference with this one. Let's go with that one. Hair black, I like it. Hat. Yeah, we'll leave it that color. Coat. Yeah, we'll leave it that color. Pauldrons. I think I like the white better. Crossbow. And we'll leave it blue to differentiate between the pauldrons. Is that it? That's it. Alright, let's go. Okay, so... 45. I'm not really, uh... I'm not really in a good spot here. Let's go to the guild hall. And... See about upgrading. Okay. No, 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 no. Skills. Skills. Not the guild hall. We need to go upgrade skills. I need to be able to see what I'm capable of. Well, isn't that C? Yeah. Alright. Flaming Hounds. Unleash a flaming hound that bounces in a forward direction. Explodes when bouncing. Dealing 10 magical damage. 50% with each bounce. Okay. Okay. All right. Repeating crossbow. Fires four bolts in quick succession. Each bolt deals five physical damage. Bolts pierce enemies but lose 50% damage with each pierce. Okay. All righty. Uh, I think I will spend some money to upgrade, though. I think it's foolish to just... Oh, wait. What? Oh, if I want to change my look, it's going to cost me money. All right. Well... 
Branding Ward. Places a ward at the ground that triggers when enemies get close. Enemies hit by the ward take 40 magical damage, are branded. Branded enemies take 100% more damage. Oh, that's good. That's useful. Witch Pyre. Place a pyre on the ground that lasts for 7 seconds, or, well, 7.5. Pyre has health, armor, resistance. Enemies that hit the pyre ignite. 40 magical damage. Okay. Generate stacks of Fanatic Zeal when casting a skill. Grants a critical hit chance for all attacks and skills. Max 4 stacks. Lasts 4 seconds. Unleash 5 crows when taking damage that defend the Witch Hunter. Throws a torch towards a random nearby enemy. Torch explodes on impact, dealing 60 magical damage, implying burning. I'm going to take these two, if I can afford them. That was two, and this is four. So I can't afford those or that, but I can buy... Do I have the crystals for... Oh, no, no that's uh, how much mana it costs. Well, maybe I should upgrade... Fires four bolts, deals 11... Yeah, you know what? Can't overlook your... You can't overlook your attack power. It's just dumb. Alright, how does this work? Five stacks. Well, four, four is fine. Let's upgrade. Okay. Good. Okay. So I've spent all my stars, but at least I'm not, like, a weak beginner boy. 5% attack power, uh, plus 5 to attack power, 10, uh, I want to undo that last one, I wanted some, I wanted some boots, that was, okay, alright, well, I have 154, I'm probably going to regret this, I'm going to regret this, I know I am, alright, let's do this thing. Ooh, that's not bad. Man, it has been a long while. I don't have a key for that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so nice. We'll just do it again. And gotcha. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm already liking this character. I might regret having spent all those stars already, but... I should be able to level this guy up fairly quickly. So it won't be a big deal. And of course I want to get the money so I can... Uh... There we go, there's a star already. Of course I want to get the money so I can keep upgrading. So I'm guessing... That, uh, that orb is either, either marks the passive that I picked up, the Zeal Tree, or is being caused by one of the other characters that, uh, I've leveled up to a point where a passive ability of theirs is applied to my characters. Now, it's a big thing about this game is that your other characters... Benefit, well, not benefit, um, provide, well, there's the crows, provide a benefit to your, all your characters. It's like an account level upgrade versus, uh, well, hold on, that was an enemy. It's a account level upgrade versus, uh, individual characters being upgraded. All right, so that's either the way down or where I send my money. 
We'll worry about that later. Good, good. So far, so good. I, you know, I wish I could have made the shoulder pauldrons red. I need the map. How do I open? There we go. So, I don't have a key for that. And I've explored everywhere else. I guess it's just time to go down to the next floor. Uh, I wish I could have made the shoulder pauldrons red. I prefer that color. Or if I could have made the hat and the coat red. But... It is what it is, right? Brown and white. Well, there's a key, if I so d desire. Where would I use it on? That's the thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Lucky shot. Fires it off as he dies. Oh, come on. There we go. Man, it has been a while. I miss this music. I miss this game. I think I stopped because the grinding just... I don't have time to really grind games. Especially when I'm trying to play three or four different games, but I have time for this with the expansion. I have time for this. At least for a little while. While I work on some other projects. This is fun. And I missed it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. We just send you that way while we kill the... Oh, all right. Where are my crows at? There's one. I think it takes time for them to recharge. If I remember the tooltip that I didn't quite read the whole piece of. That's all right. We'll send him out. He'll clear the path for me, and then I'll just destroy... There we go. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right into my shots. Good. All right. I... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use it. Sure. I, If I recall, that also refills your potions, but I only have one potion, so... It didn't need to be refilled. I could have actually held on to it until I used the potion. Come to think of it. Oh, well. Now this doesn't need a key, so if I can time this right. There we go. And I got a diamond, great. A little extra cash. I need to find a place to dump this stuff off at town, otherwise I'm gonna lose it when I die. Come on, waiting for you. Good. And I did something stupid. That happens, that happens a lot with disturbing frequency in my playthroughs. I need... So that's the way down. I need... Is there a way to dump this stuff back at town? There's a chest over here. And I didn't explore what's over here, but I'm just gonna go down to the next floor. If I recall, there's four floors and then a boss. So I wanna dump everything off before I hit the boss room. I'm not confident that I'm not going to die against the boss. 
Ah, oh, the rage. Gotta kill him first. Come on, there we go. Turn everything back to normal. A little bit of health restore, thank you. Oh, and the poison guys. I remember you. So far, so good. Except for maybe a little overconfidence here or there. Poor reaction times, you know. Standard stuff, really. Ah, oh, I bet there's a generator down there. Oh yeah, the uh, super bats, I remember you. Okay, all right, okay, all right, we're doing fine. Is there a generator down here or just a load of enemies? Just a load of enemies, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Follow the leader. Gotcha. I think I need that to apple now. Thank you very much. If I recall, occasionally there is a gate or a doorway I can take to skip ahead. But I don't remember if that shows up every single time or if it only starts to show up after your characters are a certain power level. Or after they've beaten the first boss, then the doorway starts to show up for them and they can use it whenever they want to skip ahead to the next zone. I actually can't remember when it shows up. I've beaten the first boss, so if it's supposed to show up after you've beaten the boss, any character, then I don't know where it is. If the character has to beat the boss first, then it won't show up until this guy gets there. But I don't know if I can beat the boss with this guy just yet. He's still... He's just a baby. He's just a baby. He hasn't had his teething yet. He hasn't upgraded his gear. Uh, I've actually already been over there, so we'll go this way. I'm curious how well or how terrible I would have done in the Moon Temple with this level 1 character. Oh god, I'm bleeding to death. Poison. Poison. There we go. That was fortuitous. Find a couple of health restores. Alright, do I want to try this? Is there anything in this room worth getting? Probably not. Oh, oh! Oh, okay. Bad place to stand. I'm gonna have to use the potion. Didn't want to. But there was no way I was gonna survive the way out. Okay. Oh, ah, too close. So I'll wait for that to shoot down. And then I can stand... Nope. I actually can't stand anywhere. If I follow this down... Nope. Okay. Oh, whew. Well, there's some health over here that I can just grab to make up for that failure. Great. Except now I've used my potion on a trap. Okay, what do I still got here? All the way over here. We got some health down here. And whatever's up here. Money. It's fine. We'll just ignore that. Let's go this way. And if I recall, little holes like that with enemy eyeballs poking out means it's a secret entrance. 
Wow, that guy's tough. What's this? Physical damage ignores uh, some armor. Well, I can use that. Yes! I was correct! Secret. I remember. I remember. Alright, next floor. Please give me what I need. Oh, this thing right here. This is what I was... Right. Yes. And there's always one right before a boss. So, I guess I was right about the number of floors before a boss as well. Well, let's see if I can do this, then. Still have a key I didn't get to use, so I hope I don't die. Come on, crows. Get him! I love the fact that I can pierce, too, so I can hit those... Oh, I have no potion. I can hit those... I can hit those bats and still hit the boss. Okay, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. You're almost dead. Yes! Ha! 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 Triggers combos while drinking your potion. Excellent. All right. Fantastic. All right. I think I can die here and die a happy man. Can I just leave? I think I actually have to die, right? I think I actually have to die. Yeah, but that's okay. I only have 11 hit points left. Let's go find an enemy to kill me. Hi, everybody. Simple as that. Uh, let's see. Skeleton Soldier. You run it in 14 minutes. That's good. That's about what I expected. Oh! Hold on. Okay. Well, let's take him back into town. I forgot that that's how that works. Take him back into town and spend some money, right? I also have six stars I can upgrade. So, what do I want to upgrade? Branding Ward? Having a third skill this soon, it does cost me five, though. Yeah, we'll buy it. That's fine. We have one left over. Let's go upgrade my gear. Alright, do I want movement speed? It would help. So would crit chance. I'll buy one of those. And one of those. Uh, and then let's see if we can buy a potion. Nope. Just a little too short. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Alright, well I'm going to call the episode here. Thank you everyone for joining me. I will see you next time. Stay safe, and God bless you.